Hello everyone and welcome to yet again another Friday new product post. Um, although 4th of July was this weekend, we do have some new products for you. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about those right now. First up, we've got this little guy. And um, no, we are not selling nicotine patches. This is actually an adhesive RFID tag. You can see it right there. Let me peel this away. You can see that there is actually a nice little coil and some stuff going on right there. Um, this is a MyFair RFID tag, so these are the tags that operate at 13.56 megahertz, and they do have 1K of storage on this little adhesive card. How crazy is that? Um, you can actually program an ID or, you know, some information into one of these guys, take this off, stick it on like that, and now you have an RFID tag. Um, these do not work with the 125 kilohertz um, readers that we have. They only work with the MyFair readers, which once again is the 13.56 megahertz. Um, so it's pretty cool. And the fact that it's adhesive opens up the possibilities to really a lot of different interesting things. So check out the new adhesive MyFair tag. So here we've got this little nifty board. This is the SI4703 breakout board. Um, SI4703 might be a little bit familiar to some of you because, oddly enough, we already have a breakout board for it on the site. However, this is really the breakout board. The other is the valuation board, and we've actually gone and since changed that name. Um, this is the FM radio breakout, and we've talked about it, you know, right here previously. The SI4703 is an FM radio IC. Um, the evaluation board that we have has like a headphone jack and you know some other little goodies on it And this is just the simple breakout with the IC a couple associated components and that's it So if you're looking to integrate it in a little bit more you might want to check out the breakout if you just want to um, Evaluate it and play with it and see how it works in your project You might want to check out the evaluation board because it has a headphone jack and other stuff What both of these boards provide for you is an opportunity to use the SI4703 IC, which um, is basically a radio chip. It allows you to take in radio stations, play them out, you know, play the audio out to headphones, whatever, and you can even pull down the radio data, like the RDS or the RDBS system, so you can have like station IDs where available and things like that. So it is a very versatile little chip, and you've even got a little pin back here for the antenna, so you just put in a length of wire and that is your antenna. And these things work surprisingly well, um, even inside a building with just, you know, a length of wire. We find it pretty easy to pick up radio stations, which is not the easiest thing to do here in Boulder. So, um, if you're looking to do any prototyping with um, FM radio, check out the 4703 breakout board and the evaluation board on the website. So we've got something a little different this week. We've got this board, which I am completely unqualified to talk about, so I've actually brought in the engineer Jim to help me talk about it. Say hello, Jim. Hi. <laughs> this is the Synapse SM700 Pixie board, and looking at it, it looks very similar to a shield with, um, you know, this wireless doodad on it. Um, so first of all, how is this different than, let's say, an XB shield or an XB? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a smarter XB. It's got all the, the wireless functionality of an XB, but it's also got a really powerful microcontroller in there. This one in particular has an ARM7 processor. It's 32-bit. It's got like 96K of RAM. It's, it's pretty, um, pretty functional. And so some of you might remember this little module we talked about a few weeks back. This is what, the RF-266? That's right. Um, this is essentially a drop-in replacement for an XB, and this module will talk with this module. They're both Synapse products. And so these two are made to work together. And as Jim said, the difference is these have processors on them, so they can actually do quite a bit more than an XB can with just basic communication. Now, this is in the form factor of a shield, but how is it different than a shield? It's kind of a shield, but I think to use it like to its best, most abi its best ability, um, you kind of use it as a standalone microcontroller. Um, I put it on a board with the, the shield form factor so you can mount shields to it. Like we got the danger shield, shield here, and we can just throw that on there and um, not exactly use it like an Arduino, but use it with boards that are compatible with an Arduino. Okay, so since this has its own microcontroller on board, it can communicate with other shields, although exactly. the caveat is you might not have the libraries and you know the programming is different obviously than Arduino, so 
certain things like that might be more complicated, but basic um, I.O. reading would be perfectly fine. Exactly. Using like this. Yeah, I also threw a couple jumpers on there so you can swap TX and RX and use it as a shield if you want. Um, okay. It's really up to you. Okay. So essentially what you're saying is this isn't necessarily an expansion shield for an Arduino, but more of a standalone microcontroller that can actually accept other shields. Yeah. And really, with using a lot of these different modules together, instead of having maybe an XP at each location, you could have just a Synapse module and you wouldn't need the extra microcontroller level that you would typically need with an XP. Totally, yeah. Their, their big pitch is home automation. These are great for monitoring all sorts of light levels or power levels or whatever you might need to monitor and sending, sending that and communicating within a structure or something. Okay. And so you've got um, a little demo set up here um, over at Jim's computer, which is over here out of frame. Um, we've actually got an RF-266 that's plugged into just the XB Explorer board that we mm -hmm. have because, you know, the footprint is the same <laughs> as the XB. So we've got that connected to the computer and it's running the, um, was it the Portal software? Portal is the, uh, the free software that Synapse provides, yeah. And so we've got that one talking to these different modules that we have here on the little desk here. <laughs> and it's broadcasting out, telling these to actually run their blink command, correct? Exactly, yeah. So typically with um, you know any other wireless or like an XB, you have it just communicating data back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yet this one is actually telling them to specifically run a program, and each one of these has their own program on board. And likewise, we could hook this up to the danger shield and have this run its own program and own code and then have that one tell it what to run, whatever. Yeah. Uh, one, one big keyword I think I haven't mentioned yet is Python. So you program all these little modules in a language like Python, a little less, a little limit, more limited than Python, but Python, Python still. Python-like. Python-like, yeah. <laughs> Um, and so each of these has a little Python script on them. These microcontrollers under, under the little shield here have a Python interpreter. Um, so you just send the script over and it, it uh, interprets the Python script and runs through all the procedures or whatever you might want to do. And so these guys right now, they have a, a Blink procedure on them, but nothing in the, in the program is actually calling that Blink. The, uh, the little guy over at my base station there is telling them to Blink the light on or off. And through the portal program, you can actually set these up in a mesh configuration much easier than you would an XP. Yeah, they, com they completely take care of all that mesh networking. So you don't have to, all you really need to know is the address of the module. And they, as long as they're in range, they'll, they'll find each other. Fantastic. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess if you're looking to do anything with mesh, if you're looking to, um, Really, if you need more functionality in XB, you know, if you're looking to do home automation, you don't want to have an XB and a microcontroller at each one of your locations, you should definitely check out the Synapse stuff because with the microcontroller on board, it really takes care of a lot of that processing for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's really neat. Cool. Yeah. So check out the um, Synapse line of products. So there you have it. Yet again, another Friday product post. Um, we had the SM700 Pixie board, which is very, very, very special and very cool. Um, thank you to Jim for um, helping me out with the video a little bit. Um, if you're looking to do anything with XB soon, check out this board as an alternative, possibly. Um, we've got the RFID tag, of course. Use it with your MyFair reader. And then we have the SI4703 breakout board, which is also very, very special. Um, as always, go ahead and check out the rest of the new products on the website, and we'll see you again next week. Um, we do have a good amount of products next week, and uh, we're working on a little bit of a demo. So check it out, and we'll see you next week.